guys, I just came back from a morning sprint to get a Pokemon. There was only five minutes left. It was a kilometer away. So I ran there and I got it. And then I ran back. It was another slack off. And I used to pine up berries, so I got six candies. Yes. We're heading to the recycle store now. So I'm gonna take you guys on a tour. It's my absolute favorite store. They have clothing, they have plushies, they have uh, figures. What else do they have? They have like a snack section, like a traditional Japanese snack section. Keyboard son likes the one piece section, so he usually looks through that and comes home with another figure for his desk. <laughs> There's a jewelry and a watch section. There's tons of stuff anyways, so I'm gonna take you guys for the grand tour. We're going there now. Say bye bye to my, my wardrobe, big chunk of it. <laughs> We're at the recycle store now. I'm in the girls section. The girls section is a lot smaller than the guys section, unfortunately, but it's still quite large. Lots of clothes and shoes and purses. Those are interesting. Sometimes you can find brand new things here with the tags still on, especially after lucky bag season. Because if people don't like what they got, they just take it to the recycle store without even wearing it once. This one is Sen Nihakun, so about $12. And then stuff that isn't a well-known brand will be a lot cheaper. They often sort things by the brand, so it's really easy to find stuff. This winter jacket by Lip Service is only 2,800 yen, less than $30. Recently they've started selling Big Bang stuff too. Lots of the merch from concerts and stuff from like uh, Coogees. Nicole would like this. <laughs> Ten dollars. That's a good price. Hello. Ooh, some posters. Here's the Johnny section, the Japanese boy idols. Mostly just photo cards. Oh, it looks like they have some concert merch here though. Light sticks. Oh, that's so cute. Aww. Oh, she has the cutest light stick. Some female idols as well. Not very many though. Female idol section is really small. Whoa, they're mystery boxes with idol goods. This is Kanjani 8. This is... Ooh, this is like a mixture of K-pop ones. That'd be fun to like unbox. Should I get this and unbox it with Nicole? <laughs> So this is the one piece section I was talking about. Keyboard son's favorite. We've been looking for a certain two figures for a while now and we can't find them. They must be super rare. We bought four out of the six of the collection, but they're nowhere to be found. But recycle stores are a really great place to get figures because you can get them for really good prices. And the selection here is insane. There's so many. Can I answer? Look at all these figures. And this is all just one piece. There's some Dragon Ball. Giant Dragon Ball plushie. He tries to buy Doe Flamingo every time we come here. How much? Huh? How much? Oh, Christmas chopper. Oh, 
tons of really pretty dolls too. I'm always looking at these when I come in here. These range in price from about $70 to about $170. The anime merch is the craziest. <laughs> there must be at least, I don't, I don't know, like 10,000 figures in this store alone. Again, really cheap. These are all $10 each. Recycle stores are a great place to come for souvenirs. If you have friends who like anime, many of these have never been opened. They're sealed in the box. Some wall scrolls. Sonico, my favorite section. Look at this really cute teacups for $2. And if you find three items with this sticker on it, you can get them for $5. Such a good price. Chibi Sonico, really cute. All five in the set for $30. They always have some Sailor Moon stuff, but not much. Lots of gotchas. Sakura Hatsune Miku Nendroid for $18. I feel like that's a really good price. In the box, brand new. This is a huge Sonico. How tall is this? It's one fifth scale. This is my hand for reference. It's really big. Also, $100. the Gundam section, the kits where you make them yourself. So many, <laughs> and again, really, really cheap. Way cheaper than if you bought them new, even though lots of them still are brand new and they haven't been used. About $30. This giant one is $80. These are all about 20. Keyboard time wants a Gundam now. Put any stick. How much? Loksen? This is 16,000. Two? Ah, two. This is and this. Very nice. My favorite part of the recycle stores are the little lucky boxes that they do you have no idea well you can kind of get an idea because you can see a little bit but you can't see everything so you don't really know what you're gonna get and they're quite cheap sometimes you can find some really cool stuff in there and they usually have a theme so you can look through them and try and find one you like sometimes I get the Pokemon ones and get lots of those little sofa bee figures that I paint Ooh, found lots of lucky boxes Peon. B Shoujo Kaito Kusen. Pretty girls. <laughs> See Sonico. Sonico and Peon. $5. Oh, it's like a 3D, 3D picture. If you look hard, you can find stuff from video games too, but it's mostly from anime. I'm always looking for Final Fantasy stuff. There's really not much. You'd expect there to be more because it's Japan, but they're kind of hard to find. 
there's a UFO catcher for a switch. What? That must be so hard. It's 200 yen per play. How many plays would it take to knock it down? This is the traditional Japanese snack section. It's a mix of stuff that's been around forever and some newer snacks. One of my faves, sweet potato jelly is so good. There's actually something I wanted to get from here to show you guys. I got one before and then I forgot to show it in a video. So I'm gonna see if they have it still. They didn't have the one I was looking for, but I got a couple things to show you guys. And I'm gonna look at my house because I think I still have it somewhere. I'm just gonna stop by here and grab some food for keyboard Sani's hungry. Nani ni suru. So we printed out my visa application form for Korea and it's a freaking novel. It's like 20 pages long. <laughs> God. Now that I have this cute little teapot, it's so easy to make loose leaf tea. So I'm gonna try out. It's not a snack. I'm sorry. It's a tea. I'm sorry. Do you want a snack? Do you want a snack, Marl? You want a snack? Is it snack time? Okay, we'll get back to the tea in a sec. What kind of snack do you want? Luna, come pick a snack. Come on. What do you want? What do you want? Come here. What do you want? You want a tube? Where are your tubes? I don't have any tubes. There's none left. Sorry. Oh, there they are. There they are, it's your lucky day. What flavor is it? Lobster. Fancy. <laughs> oh, are you gonna share? It's like Lady and the Tramp with a tube. <laughs> is it good? I like that one. Mara, get in there. You're not gonna get any. On my leg. Oh, get it. On my leg. There you go. Because <laughs> mm. this is orange flavor, I think it'll taste so good with vanilla soy milk. Let that steep for four minutes. Mmm. It's really sweet. Not really sweet, but just enough. Ooh, I really like that. Okay, I'm gonna go write my book of visa application papers. <laughs> I'll be back in a couple hours to show you guys what I got at the recycle store. Those little um Japanese snacks that I got. Two hours later. I just got a package from Australia. I've been waiting for this. Yes. Oh my god. So this is cotton candy, boys tears flavor, gingerbread, peppermint, and snowball. You guys. Oh, and there was a little iron-on patch and some stickers inside. So this is from Fluffygram on Instagram. Go check them out. They have the nicest looking cotton candy. Okay, let's taste it. Let's taste it right now. What flavor should we go with? I kind of want to try Boy's Tears because I have no idea what that'll taste like. I've never had fancy cotton candy before. I've only had like the cheap stuff from the fair. Oh my God, it smells so good. Oh my God, it's amazing. At first it's really sweet. And then it's slightly salty, which is new for me for cotton candy, but I love it. 
Luna wants some. <laughs> Sorry, Luna. It's not for cats. This package is a dream come true. This would make the best birthday present for someone who doesn't like cotton candy. Okay, I want to show you guys what I got at the store. These are two of my favorite um, snacks in Japan. So if you come here, I recommend that you try these. Here's a number one. This is called Hitokuchi Yaki Imo Yokan. Hitokuchi means like one bite. Yaki Imo means like mm, grilled potatoes. Is it grilled? Like those steaming sweet potatoes that they sell here in Japan. And yokan is what this is. Let me show you. It's kind of like a jelly, but there's no gelatin in it. It's made using kanten. So this is what it looks like. You pop it out of the tube. And it's this like solid jello-ish thing. And it smells so sweet. Mm, it smells like caramelized sweet potatoes. Mm, have it. It's so good. And this is 20 cents. You can get these for about 20 cents. 20 yen. Oh, I lied. 30 yen. 30 yen. But I feel like getting it at a recycle store is probably not the best place. If you go to a grocery store, they're probably like 20 yen. And then one of my other favorite snacks are these. These are called Don Don Yaki. And they're sauce flavor. <laughs> Unless you've been to Japan. Probably don't know what that means. But it's like Okonomiyaki sauce. That kind of sauce. Looks like that inside. They are these little deep fried snacks that are covered in sauce flavored powder. And they're kind of, they have like a slight vinegar taste in them. I think that's what I really like about them. It's kind of like if I had to compare it to something American, it would be like salt and vinegar chips mixed with maybe barbecue chips. That's the best I can do. They're so addictive. They're so good. And again, super cheap. 20 yen. 20 cents for this pack of them. So when you come to Japan, try those two snacks. If you've tried them before, let me know what you think of them. All right, guys, I'm going to say bye here today. I'm going to go cook some pasta for us for dinner. And I'm going to get that pretty early tomorrow because I'm going to meet Norm in Tokyo. We're going to be doing something fun. So look forward to tomorrow's vlogmas. Well, I'm excited about it anyways. <laughs> I think you guys will enjoy it too. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye. And I'm announcing the winner of the uh, case giveaway tomorrow as well. So if you didn't enter that giveaway yet, go check out yesterday's vlogmas vlog and go enter and I will choose a winner tomorrow. Okay, bye guys.